going on everybody welcome back to phones and drones as you can tell by the title of this video we have tesla's latest update that just rolled out in the form of 2023.6.8 this is obviously a double dot build so probably only assuming that there will be bug fixes in here we'll keep it kind of short and sweet not expecting any new features but a couple of call outs on that prior build that this is taken over for of 2023.6.1 i believe or dot two we had some random issues with our model s I explained it a little later in the video, you'll see it's kind of a weird one with our trunk. We had some other issues with Apple Music again, but hopefully this will fix all that, steer the ship right again and all of that. We are running into that four week time frame where Tesla likes to release new updates with new features. So I would be expecting to see a new bill for that coming here shortly as well. Anyways, let's go ahead, jump in the car and check this out. So like we said, here you go, 2023.6.8 is our latest update and yeah as expected the release notes are the exact same as our prior 2023.6 build and we have the same release notes steering yoke key which now puts us on par with the model 3 and model y they now have the automated steering heating and also the new language support being icelandic nothing else in the release notes this was the exact same we saw for our uh, release notes in the Tesla app. So again, it looks like they fixed that issue where they were different. Now they have been exactly the same. So moving on beyond that, this is software version 2023.6.8 CA519FC096F3. So a couple call outs with this. I don't know if you guys that were on the prior build of 0.2 experienced anything like this but i have actually had quite a few issues that i talked about in the uh, intro here but yeah we were getting random alerts that our actual trunk was open so i'm not sure how long it takes to recognize or for the app to recognize that the trunk was left open but sure enough a few times i got notifications that the trunk was open and it sure enough was wasn't impacting or in wasn't even using my phone to have accidentally open this nobody else has access to this vehicle but myself that was a very weird event and also oddly enough apple music was giving us that error message again so i'm hoping now this with somewhere. this new update we're not going to have this issue anymore it was fixed prior it looks to have come back but hopefully this will have fixed that again also Aside from that, no point really going on about this video. Again, it is just a dot release that you saw. Nothing new, nothing great, no feature set yet. But we are coming up on those four weeks since Tesla has released a new update build, we'll call, for uh, new software features. I'm hoping we'll be getting that soon. Make sure to thumbs up this video and stay tuned to the channel for that once it comes out. Let me know if you guys have had any other issues. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.